Um, I think just through spring ball, uh, seeing what the offense was doing with Coach and I, Coach Beck, uh, we saw the, the growth they were making. And obviously on defense, having all the guys coming back, uh, we kind of picked it from where we left off. And I think the belief in the offense and the offense believing in us has been a uh, really good formula so far. Garrett, when we were talking to you in the break, you said we're having a lot of fun. What's the vibe like around the program? Do you feel like maybe it's just a little bit looser these days? You guys are having a blast. What's different? Yeah, I mean, winning's obviously always fun. Um, and obviously, just we all enjoy being around each other. So uh, for us to all like being around each other, then to go out there and play the type of football we've been playing uh, makes it easy to be out there, be loose, and just be yourself. Now, Garrett, watching you, one thing you're known for is scrapping up. You talked about leading the ACC in pass breakups two years straight. What makes you that player? Is it film? Is it, is it your attributes? You know, talk to me about it. Yeah, I spend a lot of time in the film room. Um, I try to pick up as many tendencies as I can because I feel like if I pick up one right thing, uh, that might be able to be the one that makes the big play and uh, change the game. So, um, obviously, it worked out early against Louisville. And hopefully I just keep trusting my process and uh, that things keep working out. All right. So you like to make those big plays. We saw your interception against Louisville a couple of weeks ago. You have Purdue coming in this week. Aiden O'Connell, he's a heck of a quarterback, too. He likes to sling the football. He hasn't thrown an interception yet. Did you know that one? Is that something <sighs> you take account of as you head into a game, knowing you could be the first to pick him off? I mean, yeah, I saw, I saw in the stat book that he hadn't thrown an interception yet. Um, you know, hopefully I'm, I'm the first one. If not, I hope any of us are the first one, and hopefully get him to throw multiple. Um, he's a great quarterback, though, and he has, he's got a lot of good weapons, so it's going to be a lot of fun, though. Garrett, you mentioned uh, knowing in the spring that this team had something special. I, I, can I take you back to last year? Because you guys were really, really close. Uh, you lost a couple tight games where, you know, the difference between being a 500 team or a team that could win 8, 9, 10, whatever the case may be, is normally a play or two. What, did you get a sense last year that, hey, you know what, we were on the brink, but we just got to figure out the little things to get us over the top? Would, would that ever come into play, or is that part of the, that spring process that you were talking about that you realize that, hey, we might have something special here? Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, a lot of us came back, obviously, too, so we all kind of understood, like, we were one play away from being not just bowl eligible, but having, like you said, eight, nine uh, wins in the season. So... Um, us coming back, knowing what we had to do, I mean, I feel like it just gave us extra motivation. And like I said, so far it's worked out, and we just hope to keep it rolling. Now, playing on the defense with the offense who's scoring points, you got Sean Tucker who's going off, Gary Schrader just running over everybody, doing what he wants on offense. As a defense and a defender, how does it feel and how's it looking uh, to be on the other side of the ball of that? Um, it's amazing because obviously it gives us a lot of time. Uh, it gives us time to, to rest, obviously. You know, that's a very big thing for us. Uh, going out there on the field, being fresh, and I feel like you've seen it on the field so uh, so far. We're playing with a lot of energy just because uh, we have we have a lot of energy, you know, and that's something we hadn't had in the past. And um, we're really thankful for what they've done so far. How much different is the other Garrett Schrader over there at QB this year? I'm sure you can get a sense of it. We're watching it on TV. We have been so impressed, but I'm sure you can get a sense on the other side of the ball there, uh, playing you know DB. What's different about Garrett Schrader? Um, I feel like it's kind of a thing where he's, he knows that he's the guy now, you know. Um, going into spring, going into fall camp, we knew he was QB1. And I, I feel like that gives him a lot of confidence to just be him now. You know, he's not playing safe. Um, he's just playing like how Garrett plays, and that's being a baller. And I've always believed in Schrader, and it's uh, really good to see him just doing what he does. You know, we have a good time with your head coach, Dino Babers. And obviously, folks who follow the ACC, follow Syracuse, have seen some of his legendary speeches in the locker room. Uh, what's it like playing for the man? I tell you what, because he's a blast to hang around for us in the media. I can only imagine when things are going well, like they are right now, that uh, he's got to be a terrific dude to play for. Yeah, Coach Baber, uh, that's my guy, you know. Me and him, uh, through the years, obviously, we've gotten closer and closer. And I feel like this year, me and him have gotten um, closer than ever before. Um, he's been a big help for me in my development, and I appreciate having him around every day. All right, then tell us something about Coach we don't know. Go for it. Um, I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, they trying to get the boys in trouble today, man. Hey, smart, smart young man. You know, that relationship you had with Dino was just about ready to part ways there, Garrett, with that story that you're going to tell. I'm glad you didn't tell us, to be honest with you. Talk about another relationship. You play on the other side of Deuce Chestnut. What does it mean to have a guy like that that you're able to 
pair your game with and truly compete during the game of who has the best stats and who can lock down who? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, me and Deuce, we're really competitive about um, interceptions, just plays on the ball, everything like that in general. Um, if he has more plays than me in practice, he's going to let me know, uh, vice versa. You know, obviously we kept track of who had more picks uh, over camp and things like that. And obviously I think we just make each other better because uh, in games we know that we expect the best out of each other. Uh, and obviously I feel like we just push each other to be the best version of ourselves. You know, Garrett, it's funny. The last time we had your coach on, Dino Babers, we talked about his football team. And, of course, everybody wants to talk about offense. And I always like to go to the defensive side. Of course, Trey played on the ultimate level, so he likes to talk D2. Uh, but when we got, when Dino was talking about his football team, he was like, man, I love my secondary. Yeah. Like he, It was almost like he didn't want to talk about you guys because it was like, hey, I got no issues. And he goes, I love my linebackers. But, boy, I tell you what, your front guys, up, man, that defensive line's getting after people. Too. I think that, to me, has been the thing that's been so impressive about you guys. I know what you got with the linebackers. I know what your secondary is all about. But, man, up front, this team looks different than it has in the last couple of years. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I feel like we got a lot of young guys in the um, defensive line room. But I think the older guys we have, like Caleb and Steve and Terry Lockett, they've done a great job of uh, leading them and just making them want to get better. Um, people don't see all that – extra work they've put in, um, all the meetings they've been doing, uh, just player-led only, just learning the fronts, um, stunts, all that stuff, so that way on Saturday they can be successful. Um, and it's just been great to see all the hard work they've been putting in pay off. And, Gary, what does it mean to see young guys and players being able to have those meetings and you know that, hey, I can trust them because they're putting in that work? Yeah, no, it means, it means a lot because obviously, you know, on defense or in football in general, you want to be able to trust everybody you're out there on the field with because if you don't trust everybody – things just aren't going to work how they're supposed to. So seeing those young guys do it, because at first, obviously, you don't know what they're going to do, you know. But end of the day, I believe in just trusting your preparation. They prepared the right way, so the result hasn't been surprising to me at all. All right, Garrett, do you feel like the country is sleeping on this Syracuse team? We're watching. You're 2-0. and I said yesterday it's appointment TV. Do you feel like the country is asleep a little bit? They need to wake up? Yeah, I think people are still asleep right now, but I feel like we're just going to keep uh, waking people up because – uh, not only playing good football, but I feel like it's fun to watch for everybody. And there's no question about that. By the way, you have a uh, dual major in marketing management and retail management. Uh, and I've bragged about this conference forever. In fact, we're going to talk about the academic part of this at the tail end of the show. But to me, what separates the ACC from everybody else is that you can, number one, find great football, basketball, baseball, whatever the case may be. I know it's not baseball at Syracuse. But the academic part is no joke. And this league kind of separates itself from everybody else. Uh, dual majors, uh, obviously going to the library, putting in the work, that matters to you. I mean, it's, that's, that's not one of those kind of things you just go, eh, i um, got nothing else to do. You're putting in the work. So, so w that background, does that come from family? What, what's the driving force for you there? Uh, my parents were always really on me about uh, being good at school and, the, you know, just not being just an athlete. You know, my mom especially, um, she was really big on – I'm always being top of my class and everything that I do. And I feel like since I've gotten to college, um, I challenged myself knowing that it was going to be um, hard being a dual major, but also trying to succeed in football. But if anything, I feel like it's just uh, taught me to be really good with my time management skills. And I feel like that's helping me stay organized in everything that I do. So when football is over for you, where do those degrees take you? Are you into fashion? Is that where the retail management comes from? What are we thinking? I'm more I'm more into athletic apparel and things like that, so I'd want to work more in the business world on a relation to like Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, things like that, versus the Macy's, Dillard's, you know, the things, all those type of things. But um, the thing is, with my degree, I can go a lot of different directions. I'm really blessed to be on that track to get it. We all like athleisure. I like that. Of course. The boy got a little <laughs> swag to him. Garrett, <laughs> talk to me about something you do outside of football, some, a hobby, a passion of yours. And when, you, when you're going to school and you're playing football – Sometimes you just want to relax and kick back. And what is that kickback for you? Um, obviously, like a lot of guys, you know, I play the Madden, the 2Ks, things like that. But one of the biggest things I think I've started to do is I've been big on reading. Uh, I've been reading a lot of books, a lot of books on just uh, self-improvement, um, mental toughness, things like that. Because, you know, the game is can only go so far physically, but you can't be great if you're not right in the head. And I feel like that's a big thing that people are starting to learn, especially nowadays. So that's been a real big thing I've been doing. I feel like it's been keeping me grounded, uh, not only this season, but throughout spring ball and this summer. Hey, we can all use that, man. Give me, give, give me one title of a book you've read, man. I, I need to add it to my list. Uh, I'm been, I've been reading the book called Mind Gym. 
I'm gonna just change your mind on just having self confidence, handling adversity, uh, things like that. And then Chop Wood Carry Water is also a really good book too. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. I tell you what, man, you're an impressive dude, uh, and your team <laughs> is playing you. lights out, and this is a big, big game at the Dome with Purdue coming to town, and we wish you nothing but the best and continued success. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You got it. Garrett Williams, impressive. Uh, you know, back-to-back -back student athletes, 